while researching, I, I saw a documentary of you and creator uh, made in the late 80s, 90s, I think. Uh, it showed uh, you in the Ruhr Gebiet. Mm -hmm. um, how would you say now, looking back, uh, this place fueled your music? I think it did influence our sound just as any other um, environment that we would have grown up in. Of course, the fact that we've, um, as when we were kids, we were and surrounded by factories and uh, working class um, people probably had an influence on our musical taste because we were into metal but maybe not maybe I, I don't know I can't tell you because some people a lot of people a lot of people always ask me is it does it really have an influence on you I don't know probably yes of course, the people you were surrounded by, the adults and the working class, was that something you wanted to already to escape from back then and so you took the road to music? Hard to say, I mean, I was a metal kid, you know, it's not like that we wanted to escape from that. We, like I said, when we started, we didn't have a, we didn't have a career plan set up and we didn't know what's going to happen next. We, so basically we were just playing music and that was the most important thing. It wasn't really important who surrounded us at the time. But on the other hand, you're probably right because maybe if we would have been like rich kiddies or something, um, living in castles, we would have uh, played classical music or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, because you say you never have planned to, to go into this career, was there at a certain point where you maybe thought, well, hey, we should do this for life, for a living? Or? It just happened. I was never really our intention to become professional musicians. It just happened. I never did anything else. And um, so it just came to me without asking for it. You know, of course, you get to a point in life when you, when you get to an age like when you're like beginning of 20s and 20s and every, like a lot of people, especially your parents, ask you what are you going to do in life. And, but you, but you're still. I was so busy with the band that I never thought about any any um, alternative to this to music. And I, I also think that once you're a musician, once you 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 um, do this, you started doing this and, and and take it serious. It's not something that you can switch on and off. It's, you have to be um, able to express yourself on a creative level, any and, and, and no matter how. I mean, if I wasn't a musician, I probably would have been something else. Um, but not like, you know, something, I would do something creative anyway, so. Okay, because apart from the creative, the musical part, the, the lyrics, well, as I see them, uh, play an important role also uh, to, for the music. Um, yeah, do you think, if you would compare maybe the, the rebellion or the, the interest, which are common themes, how would you, maybe, um, what's the main difference, do you think, between the lyrics that you write now and you were writing then? I think the lyrics of, have changed. I have changed as a person. And so my lyrics has changed, have changed as well. I don't think that, um, I think like, like, like yes, when you grow, and, um, and of course, you write lyrics that are more mature because you have a different view on things. Um, but on the other hand, um, the attitude and the, a lot of the themes are very similar to what I've written um, in the early days of Creator. Like, so I always try to, in the lyrics, I always try to reflect on things, reflect on how I see the world and how. Um, um, what, 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 on, on the things that surround me, negative things, basically. Can you